Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode. This is what we will be working on today. This is my new TIG welder. I've never really TIG welded before, so it took me a little bit to kind of get a, get the hang of it. So my goal for today is to TIG weld this together, like that. Now, if you're wondering how I made these cones, in a previous video, I went through my method for laying out cones mathematically in two dimensions, and that's how I made these. So without further ado, let's do a little bit more welding on a test plate. Uh, just so that I don't actually mess these up and then uh, we can get into the real deal here Holy smokes, that worked, boys! <laughs> There's a couple points where I burned through. I think my filler wire is too big, so I'm having a hard time patching that. If I'm careful on the next run, I think I can make this work. Now for the real deal, this is our reducing cone that goes from the internal combustion chamber down to um, the turbine section. And so I think I will start by tacking it all the way around so that it fits, and then we'll see what we're working with. I've tried to close the gaps up a little bit and I'll give it another pass and we'll see how we're doing. All right, my friends, this is our final-ish product. Um, there's some holes from where the gap was a little bit too big and we burned through. I don't have filler material thin enough to uh, fill the gaps. So next week, I'll get my hands on some uh, very thin MIG wire and we'll use that as filler material. All right, I think that's all I have for you guys this week. Next week, we will be welding up the rest of the combustion chamber parts and I will be explaining my plan a little bit so you guys can kind of follow along with what I'm doing and I'll see you guys then. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, take it easy on my welding skills. I'm a newbie and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.